People are always asking me, what DJ booth do you use? And this is the Bun Gear Command Center created by Joe Bun. And I've been very hesitant to make this video. Joe Bun releases these things in batches. And this past summer, Joe said that was the final batch and they were no longer going to be making these booths. So I was very hesitant to make a video on a product that no longer was available for sale. Because that's just such a bummer to like watch a video, find this amazing product, and then you're ready to buy it. And then you click on the link and it's no longer available. And I just wanted to avoid that heartache. But it was just very recently announced that these things are for a sale again. And I had my suspicions that if the demand kept up, there was no way that he wouldn't release another batch. So I don't know if that's just like a marketing gimmick, just trying to like create artificial scarcity. But I know that these things are not easy to produce and these things are made here in the USA. So in this video, I'll do a quick highlight of some of the main features, share some of my experiences with it in the past three years, and go over some of the pros, cons, and quirks. So I've owned this guy for about three years and I I shortly after purchased a white bun gear command center but I sold that to someone that works for me because I can only use one DJ booth per gig and gear that just sits at home loses you money so it's better that it's being sent out with someone else and it entered the world with a hilarious marketing campaign where Joe Bun burned a banquet table saying DJs deserve better I try to think of myself as a more analytically minded person that looks at the empirical data before making my purchasing decisions but that type of hype is infectious. Before I invested in this fine piece of DJ furniture, I was really interested in getting one because I really liked the aesthetic of a DJ booth over a facade and a table. I felt like it could greatly enhance my visual presentation. But I did have a hard time with it because it basically has the same functionality as a basic fold-out table at about a hundred times the cost. But DJ presentation does matter, especially for higher end gigs. And I'm a decent woodworker and I considered making my own podium style booth so I could achieve the modern DJ look at a fraction of the cost. I even drew up some plans, but after realizing some of the shortcomings, I crumpled up my plans and I threw them in the garbage. Wood is heavy, wood is fragile, it's prone to dings and dents and scratches. Wood paint is prone to scratches. That's like the number one complaint of moving companies is that the wooden furniture gets banged up. And I didn't want to have to deal with that problem at every single gig. The Bun Gear Command Center is much lighter because it's made out of high grade aluminum that is powder coated, which is more resilient than wood paint. My do it yourself DJ booth didn't have a great way to take it apart and transport it between gigs. I wanted a booth that could break apart easily and fit inside my car. The Bun Gear Command Center breaks apart into three components and it doesn't require any tools to assemble. There's some padded bags available for purchase that are rugged and don't really add any extra weight or volume. I wanted a booth that would help streamline my setup and takedown process. The Bun booth is great because you can transport gear pre-wired which saves a ton of time. The top is pretty large and can fit pretty much any DJ controller slash mixer combo. It has a 19 inch rack that can hold all sorts of gear but it's awesome that it's flexible that you can adjust it to the way that makes sense for you. The Bun Gear Command Center also comes with an adjustable laptop stand that can be used on the left, right or center. I liked that it had the sunken look. My DJ controller and my DMX controller are at the same level as the surface of this booth. And I like it so that people can see your hands. People can see what you're doing. And I feel like that definitely adds to the ambiance of the event. It's like at a fancy restaurant where they do like table side steak cutting. Like seeing them cut the steak helps add to the ambiance instead of it just coming in a plate placed in front of you. And this thing sits about 39 inches high. That's another common question I get. I'm 6'4", so this thing is at about at waist level. People are always asking like, doesn't that hurt your back? I've been 6'4 my entire life. I'm used to living in a world that's not super accommodating for someone of my height. So, and I also have long arms. I'm able to use my DJ controller without having to like bend over. And I did use this at a gig where I had this on top of a dolly and it raised it a few inches and that did actually feel quite a bit nicer. The height is not adjustable, but I don't know of any DJ booth where the height is adjustable. So I just wanna share a few of my experiences. Some of the lessons I've learned. Transporting your gear inside is really nice. It helps streamline your DJ setup. 
but you also have to be careful. Things can move around during transport. I used to carry my old DJ controller inside of here. I had a deck saver on top. I had it strapped on pretty good, but it would move around almost every single time, no matter what I tried, and it did get damaged. A lot of the buttons have been broken off and I had to replace some of them. And now with this new DJ controller, I'm gonna be taking this out every single time but keeping all the wires inside to help streamline the setup. So assembly isn't too bad, but it gets old quickly and you start to hate it. And aligning this top part with the bottom is not like the easiest. You get used to it. I know I'm not the only Bungear Gear Command Center user who feels this way, but I started transporting this thing pre-assembled on top of a dolly inside of my trailer. And I had some two key covers as well to like protect this during transit but there's a lot of venues here that are not trailer friendly where there's nowhere to park your trailer so i am back to using my suv but i love having the flexibility that i can just take this thing apart and use a smaller car as mentioned this booth is meant to house any type of dj setup and different controllers are different heights so they developed an adjustable rail system where your dj controller can rest on top of it so that it's flush with the booth's top surface but I found it to be kind of a pain because during transit, the bolts would get loose and I'd constantly be having to readjust them. But that was the old rail system. This is a second generation Bun Gear Command Center. They addressed that with a more robust rail system and it looks really awesome. So when you're using a table, the table doesn't really care what type of DJ equipment you put on top of it. It'll hold it all just the same. But when you have a DJ booth that has the removable custom top plate that's specifically cut for your particular equipment, changing controllers is not super trivial. Like here's the one for my last DJ controller. And I ended up having to add an extra slot because I wanted to have my control one right next to me. I know I've seen other people do that with like mixers or with the wolf mix. I put my external controller down on a rack shelf below and that's sometimes a pain because I have to crouch down to be able to use it and control it. But at least I have one. I can transport it easily. I do like that. Like I mentioned, this thing's made of aluminum and it's powder coated. So the paint is a really resilient, but it is susceptible to scratches. And just like anything that's powder coated, it's kind of hard to touch up. So there's like a few hacks and you can look at them in the DJ Facebook group. I really haven't had much luck with touching up scratches. Um, there's always the option of taking it to your local powder coating shop and they can powder coat it again. I may do that someday. So those were some of the lessons I've learned while owning this thing for the past three years, using it at almost every single gig. I like using it, it's held up pretty well and I think it'll last another three years. And so overall, I feel like I have enjoyed having a DJ booth. I think it was worth the investment. And like I mentioned earlier, I was a little bit hesitant to spend so much money on essentially a fancy table, but I don't regret making the investment. I think it was worthwhile. I just want to address one thing. I've seen a lot of outlandish claims regarding DJ furniture. I just want to share some of my experiences with that. I mean, there's a lot of hype saying like, buying a DJ furniture is gonna level you up. It's gonna level up your business. You're gonna be making six figures. People are gonna be booking you left and right. You'll enter the luxury market. And to those people, I say slow down. So coincidentally, the year I bought this Bun Gear Command Center was the first year my business grossed over six figures. But let's not mistake correlation with causation. I was doing a lot of other things with my business at the time to help launch me in that direction. But I definitely think having a DJ booth helps you look the part of a premium DJ and sets you apart from others in your market. Owning a Bun Gear Command Center is not a requirement to be a successful DJ. Owning a piece of DJ furniture is not a requirement to be a luxury DJ that can command a premium. I don't think people are booking DJs solely based on like the aesthetic of their setup. At least that's just not been my experience. I've only had like one person specifically ask for this podium style DJ booth. And ironically, I've had more people specifically request the facade over the DJ booth. But getting a DJ booth can help you feel like a million bucks. And if you feel like a million bucks, you'll start acting like it. You'll start performing better. You'll have an elevated perception of your own brand. And that can go a long way in helping you enter the premium market and make more money and clients do notice it I get compliments all the time and even if people can't place their finger on, on why the experience is better it really does help give a nice elegant ambiance but at the same time aesthetics are very subjective not everybody really likes to look I've had planners even come up to me and be like wow your booth is really 
fancy. Like it's a bad thing. Even at a bridal show, a planner came up to me and like, wow, you DJs are so industrial. I could never get away with that at my weddings. And, and you know, I think subjectively the DJ booth has these curved edges, it's clean, it's minimalist. And I'm gonna say the negative feedback has been few and far between, and I get compliments at about every single event. People are amazed. People ask me if I made this themselves. They say they've never seen anything like it, which surprises me because I feel like there's so many people in my area that have DJ furniture and Bun Gear Command Centers specifically. And that's one of the criticisms I see levied against DJ booths is that as they get more and more popular, the novelty kind of wears off and it doesn't make you as unique and stand out as much. But by far and large, the majority of DJ companies aren't using DJ furniture. And the ones that do are probably some of the top contenders in your market. And that's not terrible company to have. Stairs are the DJ booth killers for a lot of different models and designs. Not this guy. I love that. Even if you transport it fully assembled with another person, it's really not that heavy. And I feel like a lot of DJs get bored of their aesthetic and they're constantly trying to switch things up. It'd be awesome if we had some accessories for the Bun Gear Command Center. Like one time I decided to put some side panels and attach a TV to the edge of this thing. And I thought that was pretty cool. And I feel like that plays into my ethos of just having one DJ booth. I, I don't like having multiple DJ booths. They take up a ton of room. They're expensive. They're heavy. You have to have all your gear put in it or if you have to move all of your gear to your other booth and it's a lot of extra time. It's like the opposite of streamlined so I don't like that. And so while I love this look part of me does miss like the globe of facade like on a big stage a big empty stage. It gives a lot of warmth and presence and I kind of miss that. And I know that you can put up lights at the bottom. I just don't feel like the black one is nice as like the white one. But even the white one I feel like is not, doesn't diffuse light as well as a facade. But overall, I feel like this is a worthwhile investment. I think that this DJ booth has actually lived up to its hype a little bit. I feel like it has leveled up my business. Even if it's just in my own mind, I feel like it has definitely helped. It's helped streamline my setup and it's been really an enjoyable piece of gear to have. So do you own a Bun Gear Command? Center. What are your thoughts? What have your experiences been? Do you own a different DJ booth? What have your experiences been? Are you considering purchasing one of these? What questions do you have? Let me know down in the comments below and please smash like and subscribe. I try to create unbiased, ego-free content to help you with your business. I'll see you in the next video.